Hi, I'm Dr. Lisa Thompson of DrLisaMThompson.com, and I have a question for you. Are you noticing that your Facebook engagement is decreasing? You're not seeing a lot of people liking, commenting, or sharing your posts? Well, pay close attention because in this video, I'm going to share with you why it's so important that you have to be managing your Facebook friends very, very carefully. And the reason for that is, is Facebook with their algorithm right now, that's their formula, they're looking for engagement. And so what they're doing is they look at your Facebook friends, the Facebook uh, friend requests you send out, as well as how many friends you have. And they look at that and they see how many of those friends are interacting with your posts. And if you're noticing that you have a lot of friends, but they're not interacting with your posts, Facebook sees that as your posts not being very relevant and they're not going to show up in your friends news feeds. So what you have to do is go in and the first thing you should do is go in and look at the friend requests that you've sent out. So you want to go to the friends tab on your Facebook personal profile and you're going to see where you click on that. It'll say also friend requests. You want to click on that button and then it'll say uh, friend requests you've sent. You want to click on that and if you have sent out any friend requests, you want to go in and make sure that you delete all of those. Okay, and then the second thing you want to be doing is, and I learned this technique from my good friend Ray Higdon, and what he does is he uses uh, birthdays to get rid and unfriend people. Now you're probably thinking, well, that's kind of mean, but what you're doing is you need to get rid of the dead weight. You need to get rid of the people who are not interacting with your posts. Okay, so when you go in, doing it um, on a birthday is really quick because um, usually what you see, if you look on the right hand corner of your screen on Facebook, they're always going to have and it says like friends birthdays. You want to click on that. And then what you want to do is you want to visit their profile and you want to be looking for, does their profile look like an online advertisement board okay do they look like they're constantly you know have the name of the product they're they're constantly their content is nothing but pitch fest you also want to be looking at have they been making any recent facebook posts okay you know are they posting at least once a day you know if they if they're going like a month without posting that's also going to bring down your engagement because they're not even on Facebook. So why even have them on? You know, look and see if they've got spammy posts where, you know, one of the big ones as a tip away for me is if I see the Ray-Ban. You know, sometimes you see people where they get tagged in Facebook posts and they have Ray-Bans and those Ray-Ban photos. So you see a lot of those Ray-Ban photos that is also a tip that, you know, maybe I need to unfriend them. Because usually if you see those people who see that they're being tagged in spammy posts, they tend to get rid of those. The other thing I look at is I also look at and see, are they commenting? Are, are they engaging with the people who are commenting on their posts? Okay, so... When I look through there and I notice those things, I also take a look at their profile picture and also their timeline picture. If their profile picture doesn't have, you know, um, it just has like that uh, handle, you know, where they don't even put a picture in it, or they have something else other than a picture of themselves, I'm probably going to unfriend them. Okay, so you want to go in and get rid of the dead weight. And, and what I've noticed, you know, it's not having the 5,000 friends maxed out. What you want are people who are always going to be engaging with you. Okay, the name of the game is engagement. So you, you want to be selective with who you are looking at as far as your Facebook friends. Now, some of you might be thinking, well, Doc, what if I want a prospect? 
here's what you want to do instead. Don't send out Facebook friend requests. Okay, unless it's somebody, you know, like maybe an old classmate, an old colleague or a family member that you know very, very well. Yes, send out a Facebook friend request. But for cold market, don't. What you want to do instead, follow them instead. So when you're hovering over their, their profile and, or you check out their profile, hit the follow button. Okay, follow them first. And then you can start setting up conversations. When you're setting up conversations with someone you follow, you can say, hey, I sent you a Facebook message. It, since we're not connected on Facebook, you may want to check your other folder on your Facebook message. I have something that you know I want to ask you. <clears throat> so when you do it that way, you're setting up conversations. Okay? And then if you've got a good relationship built from there, Okay, then you can consider making them a friend, but you want to make sure that you're you're interacting with each other. Okay, don't sit there and add friends for the sake of thinking that the higher number, you know, Facebook's going to um, they're going to show your posts more in the news feeds. They're looking for the engagement. So let's do a quick recap. Number one, go in to your Facebook friends. And you want to go in and any sent phrase, you know, any Facebook friend requests you've sent, you want to get rid of, delete those. Then every birthday, you want to go in every day when someone has a birthday, you want to go in there and you want to check out their profile, see how active they are, look at their profile. Do they have a picture of themselves? Are they, have they been active at least posting something? once a day they've been active within the last month and are they interacting with the people who are posting and if you're seeing that none of that's in there or they're being very very negative get rid of them okay you want to keep that open so that you know you want to be adding people who you are going to be interacting with because the more responsive your friends are the more engagement you're going to get on Facebook and Facebook's going to see your, your post as relevant and they're going to wind up, your posts are going to wind up staying on the news feeds longer. You're going to get more comments. So the other thing you want to be doing too is as people are leaving comments on your status updates, always make sure you are responding back because anytime you respond back on your Facebook status updates, that also gets you more engagement. So there you have it, my friends. I hope you found this video helpful today. If you did, leave a comment and share. And if you're not on my newsletter, go to workwithdrlisathompson.com, put in your best email address, and what I will do is I will start sending updates to your email box every single day, sharing with you my latest tips, strategies, and mindset that can help you grow a full-time income while working only part-time leveraging the internet. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.